welcome back to Movie Momentum. Today, we'll discuss the 96th Academy Award winners and examine some of the main categories of the Oscars in 2024. Original Song, What Was I Made For? Barbie. Barbie had the best original song in the 2024 Oscars. I will not be surprised to see if this is the only award Barbie takes home, although Barbie was quite a good film with the production design and quite a good color palette making it visually enjoyable. Original Score, Oppenheimer. Nolan movies are known for their amazing music. Interstellar and The Dark Knight have incredible scores, but Oppenheimer took it even further. Don't be surprised if you find yourself adding this music to your playlist. Ludwig Göransson composed the score for this film. Previously, it was Hans Zimmer who composed the music for Nolan's movies. Makeup and hairstyling, poor things. The film has beautiful character designs, which were quite hard to pull off. The makeup department of the film did an absolute banger of a job here, especially with the SFXs. Production design, poor things. Things. The set design of the film was outstanding. They had to build all those places up and artistically fill them as well. The hardest thing in a fantasy film is its production design, and the production design of this film will inspire other filmmakers for years. Costume design, poor things. If you look at all the characters in this film, you'll notice one thing very well. It's the character and the costume design. The outstanding costume designs just make this film stand out and be visually enjoyable. Cinematography, Oppenheimer. Nolan makes a film and it doesn't have good visuals? That's just impossible. Hoyt van Hoytema has been the director of photography that Nolan has worked with in his most recent features. There's no doubt that the guy is talented, but the film itself was shot quite aesthetically. With its big IMAX frames, real-time explosions, and wide frames, this film definitely deserved it. Editing, Oppenheimer. Christopher Nolan loves nonlinear storytelling. His latest entry, Oppenheimer, also creates the same legacy of nonlinear editing. The way the film was put together piece by piece is what makes it the best edited film of the year. Nonlinear storytelling is the most difficult way of storytelling to pull off. One of the key elements of Nolan's films is also the editing. He puts a lot of effort into this and it can be seen in his other works, such as Memento and Dunkirk. His editing style is quite famous among filmmakers and it is quite a risky thing to experiment with. Best Supporting Actress Davine Joy Randolph, The Holdovers Randolph plays Mary Lamb, the school's chain-smoking head cook. She provides hearty meals for the men while nursing a broken heart for the son she lost in the Vietnam War. Her character was quite difficult, yet the way she played it was outstanding. Best Supporting Actor Robert Downey Jr., Oppenheimer Iron Man is finally getting the Oscars, but oh man, he deserves this so badly. His portrayal of the character Louis Strauss in the Oppenheimer was outstanding. Outstanding. I don't think we've ever seen him play such a versatile character. And apparently, this is his first Oscar. Best Director Christopher Nolan Oppenheimer Oppenheimer deserves all the praise, and it was due to this one man, Christopher Nolan. The choices he made as a director gave us an absolute masterpiece. He approved the cast and picked the team, and they all worked hard and produced this creative masterpiece. Best Picture Oppenheimer This doesn't come as a surprise. Anyone who's watched Oppenheimer would agree. Christopher Nolan's latest film is a biopic about the father of the atomic bomb, J. Robert Oppenheimer, an American theoretical physicist. The film deserves to win in this category. It's visually a masterpiece. The script is good, the acting is outstanding, and the edit just puts the final nail in the coffin. Best Actress Emma Stone Poor Things The lead actress in La La Land, Emma Stone, is such a versatile actor that she can put energy into whatever character she plays. Her role in Bella Baxter in The Poor Things wasn't an easy one, presenting a challenging role that only someone of Stone's caliber could successfully tackle. With each role she takes on, and Emma Stone continues to prove herself as one of Hollywood's most formidable performers. Best Actor Killian Murphy Oppenheimer Oppenheimer again? Is this really the Oscars? Well, Killian Murphy is undoubtedly a brilliant actor and he deserved his first Oscar for this role. His leading role as Thomas Shelby in Peaky Blinders has made him quite popular and this is not the first time that he's worked with Mr. Nolan. Through his unwavering commitment to his character, Murphy delivers what is easily his finest performance to date. There were other notable winners in some other categories as well, but this was the year of Christopher Nolan and his masterpiece, Oppenheimer. Do you think Oppenheimer deserves all the praise that it received?